Oh, Tesla, thank you so much. Traders, I'm done, I'm done trading today. Uh, here's my account. Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, market direction and why did I exit my Tesla trade, which is uh, kind of important, I think, uh, education wise. So just a quick look at my account here before we continue higher. In fact, the only winner today is Tesla because I had uh, one nice ride trade and then uh, Boeing kind of raced it. And then two trades in Tesla, one of them is like a normal trade and the second one is small. But anyway, the end result is give or take is my Tesla trade. So I'm going to finish up 8,600 and in fact, a few more hundreds are riding on Tesla right now. But uh, something I want to talk about is, uh, in, in, my, in my opinion, extremely important is the market direction. And that is, in fact, something that we're going to discuss in length today in the Star Trader course. So we're going to discuss um, the relationship between the stock that we're trading and the market direction. On the bottom here, you can see the S&P 500. And what's kind of interesting to see is that the S&P 500 had a nice consolidation here, a nice support level here at the lows. And then once it broke down under the lows, it left a big bottoming tail and then spiked up. These are one minute candle, but it was a real strong spike up. And I don't know what's coming next, but you know, it's hard to say what's coming next. But after it moves to a new low and showing us a bottoming tail at the new low and then moving up as much as it did, it's likely from here and from here on to continue higher. So I don't know really what's coming next, uh, although we have quite a strong red candle right now, which is kind of interesting. But anyway, once I saw this, which was extremely important, was the time where I should have taken my Tesla partial. So if you're looking at my Tesla trade, my target was three points, my second Tesla trade. That was a short under 618. And my target was 615. And once I was at around, well, it came down two and a half point, did not reach my target. And I took my partial at around the two point mark, although I was looking for three points. And the reason I did that was because the market spike. When the market is moving, most of the stocks in the markets are following. Most of the stocks in the market, like Tesla, are following. The reason Tesla moved up from 615.50 to 617.50, that's two points, that was because of that market surge right over here. And so although you have your target, and my target was three points, sometimes market conditions require that you change your target and you take a different, sometimes better, sometimes a smaller target than you anticipated just because the market did a certain thing. Now, the explanation to this is going to last approximately 30, maybe 40 minutes today in the Star Trader course. We're going to talk about market direction and what it has to do with the uh, why do stocks move with the S&P 500 and the relationship between the stocks to the S&P 500. We need to understand the reason for that because right now I'm just saying, okay, so the S&P moved higher. What does it have to do with Tesla? Well, it's a long story and we're going to talk about it today in the Star Trader course. So if you are with me today, we're going to meet at um, 3.15 Eastern Time. Star Trader course and we're definitely going to discuss this in length. And um, I think it's extremely important to understand this relationship and to act accordingly. So that was the reason I took my early partial in Tesla today. And I'm still holding small size, hoping it's going to continue. We'll see. Anyway, nice, good first uh, day for the week. And uh, we're going to continue trading, of course, tomorrow. So see you all tomorrow. Have fun and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, Twins.